Yes, today I call a meeting of the person who are striking for the last many days to clarify the portion of the government based on all the legal parameters of the law. Because this is not a new issue. The contractual teachers have met me several times since 2018. And that time, I make ample clear that that is a reality. So kindly, kindly prepare for that because uh, it is a reality now. Because section 23 of RER has specified that appointment of the teachers for elementary education is as per norm prescribed by regulatory authority that is NCTE uh, so, so NCTE has prescribed but during this period of time 2012 13 14 since many of the teachers in service teachers have not been many have not acquired the minimum qualification so the government for those who have not uh, uh, could not uh, have not acquired the minimum qualification of 45 percent for student right we have given a chance to appear again and again and again the uh, uh, embossed exam so that they could attain the minimum mark of 45 percent Number two, and that also we extend two, three times, not only one, not only twice, three, four times, five times we have extended. Number two, since DL Ed also is one of the criteria for the appointment of the teachers, so the government of Macaria tie up with NIOS so that all the in-service teachers could, could uh, complete their DLA through NIOS. And that also the extend time and again and the last and the last patch, which uh, because the NCTE, the NIOS had given only uh, few times for them to complete the 45%, but many uh, I don't sure to tell you what many, uh, some, they have passed the DLN, but they could not pass the 45% in time. That also, the matter, after the attain, the NIOS has one way that they will be done. So, in 2019, I mean 18, when they will be, they told, sir, because many of us are, will be on the wrong side of age. Because we are over age, I told, don't worry. For age, the government will do something to enhance the age. And education department is the first department who enhance the age from 32 to 37 years for the benefit of the contractual teachers who take time to meet the regulatory authority. After that, then the government conducted the test and a uh, regular appointment have also been made in all the district of the state except except the the Dengiri subdivision question ask why the Dengiri the Dengiri it happened like this because because uh, there is a leakage of question paper when the test was conducted all over the state. So, and when we found that the leakage in the, is confined only to the Dengiri subdivision, so the test for all the submission goes as usual, and result could be declared. And then, the the Dengiri subdivision is uh, held afterwards. And up then, and then, after the conduct of MTET in the Dengiri, 
we were supposed to issue a placement. Then come the MDC election. Which model could of conduct happen? Then after preparation again to conduct the recruitment process in the Dengiri, then by election come. And finally, the government have advertised the post in the Dengiri. Subsequently, the the judgment of honorable high court come to implement the rostar system because we could not conduct the exam even once that's why those teachers they are continue they continued on the contractual uh, basis and in 2020 the honorable high court also has uh, passed the judgment that the uh the contract actual teachers have no right for recognized session so i have explained to them that this is the constraint recognized session is out of question but the government will because uh three four months back the contractual teachers many of them have passed that am dead but they are again on the wrong side of age so i today i convey to them what i can do what the government can do is that a one time condonation of age could be given so that they could appear for the recruitment process so this is the maximum thing as of now which we as the government uh, uh, will do so an regularization is out of question we will uh, as i said when they meet me also two three months back with a petition for condemnation of age for those who have passed and that i told i will make sure and today i convey to them that the government will condone the age for those uh, who are on the wrong side of the age for recruitment process so i have conveyed to them we have tried to 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 do maximum possible from the government uh as a uh, the question asked why when the rte mandatory is mandatory since 2012 uh, 2010 why conduct the mtet in 2019 we conduct because we don't want to to discontinue that the service of contractual teachers will be discontinued we want that uh, for them to attain the minimum qualification as set up by the recruitment authority which in this case it is the ncte so what is the government the, they request me that they request the government not me that uh, to consider to find ways and means and as i said for the last four years we have tried we have helped and we will help in this uh, age condition uh, which under the under the matter of you know, we try to help but beyond that it is a contempt of food